Hello, John Neal here, a chalkboard artist and sign writer and calligraphy handwriting tutor, coach. Mm. Actually, this time it's coffee. Um, well, handwriting. Um, somebody asked me, Shan Matthew asks, could I give a demonstration on using a biro to do handwriting with? A regular, cheap, nasty, stick behind your ear sort of biro. Of course we can. It's just a, another implement. It's not so much the instrument you're using, it's the way you use it. So, handwriting with a biro. Well, I'll very quickly go over the other points that I've made, and that is, don't hold it like this, like this, like this. Hold it quite loosely with three fingers around the pen. And then you work your arm from your, your hand, from your, your wrist, not from screwing your fingers up. And if you get this rhythm going like this, now that's quite large, you're going to be writing, I presume, about this size, then you have a better looking handwriting because it'll all be looking and going the same way. As I've said before, if you do a car going that way, it looks like it's going that way. So your handwriting that's to don't screw your fingers up and start. So don't write backwards. You should write slightly forwards. And that way the slope of the letters, where's another one, there or there, is consistently that angle all the way along and looks as if it's just nicely going forward. Whereas this writing looks like it's going all over the place and is very inconsistent. So don't do that, do that. Okay, I want to, you to notice the rhythm and the speed at which I do this. So let me just write a, a sentence. Uh, handwriting is possible with a biro. That's good handwriting. Quite possible with an ordinary, ordinary biro. Just keep your Fingers relaxed and keep a rhythm going. Now there's also a thing about the shape of the letters. Um, uh, the letter, most of the letters form in this rounded shape, like the wheels on the wheels on the bus, they go round and round. So letter A is there, C, E, D, B. They all seem to have that oval shape in them. So if you can get that right, and then likewise, other letters like M, N, O, o R, they all, all have this similar sort of feel to them but it's it's slightly rounded there but then has something of a, an angle to it as well so oh, I should never try the minimum in e mum okay so there's that element and that element right capital letters cap it tell letters I'm trying here to be consistent, so again this the direction of those verticals 
is hopefully the same, just slightly forward of upright. Now I've done an A like that, which um, I'm fond of, but really I suppose an A ought to be like that. The B, I've said before, is smaller at the top than the bottom, so if we do a bit quicker, try and get the bottom bit bigger. A bit like um, a snowman. You know, the bottom is, it sits better on the ground. C, D, E. Now the E, you could put this middle part quite high if you want to, it looks quite nice. Or you could even put it very low. Likewise with the F, up there, or down there. I think the middle or above is good. G, H, I, J should not have a cap to it. L, M. L is useful because it does give you a chance to flourish like this if you want to. But only flourish, I would say, on the first letters. L, M. M, by the way, for me, always goes right to the bottom of the line. Don't do that. No. Well, I don't like it anyway. N, likewise, like that. O, P, Q. Again, Q's got a, a line like that which you could... Eliz Who's she? Uh, Queen Elizabeth, you, you do these nice flourishes to it. Uh, Camera OPQ R. S is tricky. Um, generally speaking, again, the bottom of the S ought to be bigger than the top. So it ought to look like that bigger, smaller. Now you can do an S that way, or you can do it with a push up that way. But um, let's stick with that first. Once you do it like that, you might want to just finish it off that way. T. Now, some people sort of like to do this sort of thing all the time. Fancy, fancy stuff doing like this. T. And uh, don't overdo it. I think all this can be a bit elaborate and be distracting. T. U. V. Let's come back to the V. V is just like that, but it does give you an opportunity to go up and just take that up that way if you wanted to. Likewise with the W. And again, the W goes up, up to the top. Wouldn't do that, no. X, again, it's got a chance to do that if you want. And Y, Z. We say Z in this country, so I'm sticking with it. So those are all the capital letters. But if you're going to make a flourish on them, and they're great fun, you must really stop, just do it on one letter. For instance, if I wrote the word alphabet, it's too complicated. Might be nice just to alphabet or in capitals. Flourish on the end, flourish at the start. So I think that that looks a lot better than the, oh no, sorry, not that one. That one. No. Too busy. No, no, no. As for all the letters in the alphabet, in the small letters, I'll do them slightly bigger for you. And again, there's that oval shape. See, it's all with a biro. Biro's nice, it's okay, it's only cheap one, not E, F, it's how you hold it and the rhythm. G, oops, start again. W, X, Y, I'll say Z if you want. So, Finish off writing with the bonus, quite successful.
Well there you have it, handwriting with the humble biro. That's all it is. Thank you very much for those people who have uh, followed me on my uh, YouTube channel. If you haven't clicked follow, then by all means get on with it. I've revamped my website and the link to that is down below. And thanks to somebody for, for, for suggesting that I put HTTP slash slash colon and all the rest of it, then you can go straight to it apparently. I haven't had a problem myself, but that's good. And um, if you want to go to my website, you can buy three different download videos, but one in particular is to do with handwriting. So thank you very much for watching. And Mr. Shan Matthew, I hope that is of some use. And uh, I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.